good afternoon guys and happy sunday to all of your sunshiny faces so guys i got a little bit of stuff done for today i got dishes taken care of and kind of got laundry taken care of um and i also edited a vlog today because it's like okay guys i woke up like 10 o'clock today which actually was not that bad considering it was a weekend considering i didn't do really well like falling asleep last night um or going to bed early or the night before and i woke up early on saturday to go grocery shopping so overall i thought like 10 o'clock was actually a decent time i was like okay kayla good job <laughs> and then um i got like the dogs fed i got i had my coffee everything like that i got dressed got ready and everything like that it was about 11 45 or something like that i came in my room and i was all ready i started having my coffee um i started working on something all of a sudden I'm like what what my phone just went off ESPN just went off I was like what's going on it was like the Blackhawks game had started I was like how is the Blackhawks game start at 11 45 in the morning um it was crazy but yeah I guess they ended up playing like an early game today so I was like okay I'll watch that and then I watched that edited a vlog and then uploaded to this afternoon and then also too guys because I've been really frustrated because I had um on my table over here you guys might have seen in the background my books that I got for Christmas and I was like oh my gosh you know they were just like sitting on my desk they've been sitting on there since Christmas I need to figure out where to put them and I want to put them on this bookshelf I'll show you guys <laughs> but my Christmas decorations were up there so that's why I couldn't put them up there finally I was like I need to get my tape my desk cleaned off because I was just getting annoyed so I moved them up there um as you guys can tell, I got eight of the books for Christmas, and I had that one right there, the HP Lovecraft one. Um, and so, yeah, I put them up there with that. I thought that was, it looks okay. I don't know if I want to put it, because I'm using this more as a bookshelf. And this gives it, I don't know, though, it gives it such a cute little, like, library feel kind of sort of to it in here. I actually kind of like them being up there, especially that they're all, like, the same, like, not cover, but they're the same, like, they're kind of matchy, because they're all, I think, from the same, what's it called? I was going to say producer, publisher, I think. Um, so, yeah, and then, like, everything over here, though, is very minimalist over on this, you know, not, like, super, but it's, like, there's very little stuff, and that is actually also Christmas. I'm going to put that up in the attic this year. Um, so, yeah, guys, I really don't know, like, I feel like this shelf is, will be, will feel more bare, and then I got this is, like, lined from end to end. Um, and then also, too, though, I want to keep my books over on these shelves, um, and I, I don't know, though, what I'd put up there other than, like, decorations or something, but I don't know. I like the way this actually looks over here. I do. Um, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm torn as to what I want to do, but maybe eventually I'll kind of rearrange and figure out what I do really want to do with it. I'm sure I will get more books, <laughs> too, that I'll have to put up there, but I actually don't have that many. I don't have, like, a ton of books. Um, and honestly, too, some of them I think aren't even mine. Like, these ones, I don't even know what they are. They were, like, my mom had them or something like that, but they're, like, diary books or something like that. Oh, they're called Dear America books books um I think one of them the Titanic one maybe is mine but then the other two um were my mom's I don't know if they were like when I was homeschooled or something like that but she had them for like an eternity and then I think she gave me the Titanic one or bought it for me or something like that and they gave me the other ones but I don't even know um I do really want to read them but they're not really like my books anyway um so I was like thinking about giving them back to my mom so yeah I mean like I do have a handful of books but then too like the chicken soup for the teenage soul I actually that's I don't know maybe my grandma gave that to me and then too I have one of her books still it's uh it's called the mushroom farm I don't actually know what it was about she just kept talking about it and she was like oh do you want to read it and I was like oh sure and then I read it and I never gave it back to her um which is like makes me really sad but um what was I going to say, you guys? I keep losing my train of thought. Uh, I don't even know that she knew that I had had it, like, all these years. Like, it had been a handful of years, and this has been sitting up on my shelf because I was like, the, the bookshelves are just books that I want to read, and they look pretty and nice up there. <laughs> but I never actually, like, really almost read hardly any of them. Honestly, guys, I don't know if that I could pick up five books that I've actually finished that are on my bookshelf. And it's not because I 
finish books and I give them away. It's just because I don't read books. <laughs> and that is my New Year's resolution. But one other thing too, guys, that um, I did want to tell you guys because I don't think I realized, I told you guys last week that we were planning on going on vacation this weekend. And then I don't know that I ever told you guys we weren't going. Um, and then I said Matthew was gone yesterday. He went on a, like a sort of mini vacation thing with um, his girlfriend, her family. They have a cabin, I think, at like Michigan or Wisconsin or something like that. And um, they ended up going there. And he, um, so obviously he wasn't here, but they were actually not planning on going or Matthew wasn't planning on going, was planning on going with us, but then we ended up not, so yeah. Anyway, so, the, <laughs> the point I'm trying to get it is, um, we were supposed to go, but we thought that Matthew and Jack both didn't have school on Friday, or we thought that, okay, here's the thing. We weren't most likely going to be able to drive all of us up there in, um, our, in the bug. The last time we ended up going, we borrowed my aunt and uncle's van, so we had offered to drive them up there, um, yeah, which is to my aunt and uncle's, uh, they have a condo in Wisconsin. Um, and so we offered to drive them up there and take their van, in which case we'd have enough room for all of us. Um, and But they were leaving at like 5 o'clock, like I don't even know, like 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday or something like that. So we would have had to have left our house by like 9 o'clock or something like that to get there in time to go and get them or to go drive them in their van up there and um i forgot what else i was gonna say guys i see i keep doing this tonight i don't know why my my train of thought has been really like gone um but yeah uh and two i got bravo's face staring at me and he's like really um <laughs> you're staring at me hi little buddy it's really distracting so yeah so that was already kind of difficult because we they live like about an hour away from us um so we would have had to have gotten up like by like eight seven o'clock in the morning um on friday and then we um we thought jack didn't have school so we were like well matthew i guess can just miss school but then my aunt and uncle weren't really sure that they wanted him to miss either <laughs> they were like well we don't want him to have to miss um, but we weren't sure we were going to make it up there and just a handful of other things that ended up coming up. I told you guys too that my dad wasn't going to be able to go anyway. My mom just didn't feel comfortable like going on a family vacation kind of thing without him. Um, and so, you know, like we had gone on the one over, what was it, spring or whatever. Um, and my mom just said too, like that because it was like just... I don't know. It was like a planned, like it was just going to be us and my mom that were going to go. Um, but this was like our whole like extended family and everything like that. And so my mom just was like, you know, it'd be weird that like we're, you know, excluding somebody from the family and stuff like that. And, um, you know, that my dad was like, my dad was like, I don't care. He's like, I have to work anyway. Um, you know, and so yeah, anyways, though, my mom just was wasn't sure that she wanted to go because of that and two it was kind of last minute we weren't really totally prepared we knew about it like I think a week and a half or two weeks prior to that that we might be able to go and then we weren't sure and so yeah anyways the long story short we ended up not going guys that's why we're not on vacation this weekend I think we're gonna do like two trips in the future as well but we're gonna do them just like our family and we're not going to um go uh like with our whole family because we would always do it over martin luther king jr weekend and we um didn't end up doing it this year so yeah matthew should be home tomorrow though because they have monday off but anyway so guys i'm gonna go get a shower and head to bed because it actually still is early tonight guys and i'm happy because i was up early but I don't have anyone to wake me up today, so I'm like, well, actually, I can ask Jack to wake me up, I guess. I need somebody to come in my room and be like, Haley, you need to get up. Like, and be like, oh, you really need to get up and, like, give me a reason to get up. Because if not, I just, I don't know what it is, guys. I just want to keep sleeping. But if somebody comes in my room and is like, Haley, I need you to do the laundry. I need you to take care of the dishes or, you know, like, you have to do something. I don't know why mentally I'm just like, oh, I have to do, even if I won't do the dishes first thing in the morning or, like, do the laundry. If someone is like telling me I have to get up and I have to go and do that thing, then I get up like I don't know why like to, 
to go to the grocery stores. Like I could keep sleeping in, but when I know I have to go somewhere, I know I have to do something in the morning, then I wake up too. Or if I know like a friend's coming over, you know, like in the morning or whatever, um, you know, I'd force myself to get up. But when I'm like, oh, I can just start my day whenever I want to start my day, which I want to start it early. But if I don't have a reason to get up, then I just keep sleeping. Like, yeah, so <laughs> no, I asked Jack if he'll wake me up in the morning, but since it, since it is still early tonight, I'm going to take a shower and head to bed, so I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe, and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow, so bye guys.